elsewhere. I described uh, Hans Lal Mehta as the ambassador of good cinema. City lights, just one. Enough. He's now coming up with another interesting follow for us. Nowhere near city lights. Let's start there. But yet, a film that does not hurt your sensitivity. The film marks the debut of two interesting actors. You have Jahan Kapoor, grandson of Jennifer Kendall and Shashi Kapoor, son of Kunal Kapoor. You have Aditya Raval, son of Swarup Sampat and Paresh Raval. Two very interesting actors making their debut in this film. Or I, I'm not sure if Aditya Raval is making his debut, but surely uh, Jahan Kapoor is. And uh, obviously this is a big role for Aditya. So in technical terms, it's the first time one notices the Raval household, the uh, chick of the old block in a lengthy role. The film is very half-baked. And somewhere you realize that uh, the filmmaker is willing to bite is willing to bark, not willing to bite, or willing to bite, not willing to chew. Hans Lal's uh, fire to tell an honest story is somewhere blurred. Perhaps art is now suffering it's in the hands of you know who, what, where, why. Probably historically someday people will talk about what happened to cinema in these years. They will ask questions and probably find right answers on to why art and artistic expression took a dip. We are not there now. For us, this is the story of the protagonist, played by Jahan Kapoor, comes from an affluent Bangladesh family. His mother is played by Juhi Babar as Simeen. The family wants him to go to Stanford and he refuses. He's somebody who wants to stay back in Bangladesh and study. One evening, he with his two girlfriends, very casual friends, no romantic angle, anything suggested in the story, go to a coffee shop, a top-end coffee shop, which is attacked by four terrorists, Bikash, played by Harsh, Harshal Pavar, Jatin Sarin, playing Mubashir, Sachin Lalwani playing Rohan and uh, Harshal Power playing Bikash. As I told you, the entire gang is held by Nibras played by Aditya Raman. All of them are amateur. They show you a couple of scenes of their being under the tutelage of somebody and start differences among the five before they go in to the task assigned is reflected in their food habits, their priorities. All five of them attack this high-end hotel. They hold all the inhabitants there to ransom. A few escape, a few are shot there. And to establish their vertical superiority, there is indiscriminate shootout. Some are there. Now here comes Hans Lal Mehta. The shoot is shown separately. The victims are shown separately. There is more poignance, there's more tragedy, there's more loss. There's a human angle rather than the celebration of terrorist violence in the shootout. The movie spans for about 137 minutes, in which there are two parallels happening. What's happening within the door? Hotel where everybody is held ransom. And outside, how the police of Bangladesh and then the armed forces <coughs> fight for space to sort out the issue. Amateur, most of them, unprepared, all of them. They don't even have a blueprint of the hotel. So poor is the infrastructure. 
And mind you, this is based on a real story that happened in Bangladesh. So the bombing attack happens. There are tangential references to Islamic superiority. There are tangential references to the belief that they have been wronged by history and contemporary world. The film blurs on what the demand is, what are they out to achieve? What do they want to negotiate? None of these are clear. It is just somewhere to show how the four terrorists have taken control of a system completely unprepared and how the principal character for us, mind soft as he may seem, is willing to pay and take a bold stand. Very short, very crisp story. Can Hansel Mehta have made a better film? Arguably, yes. Doubtlessly, yes, in fact. He leaves too many loose ends. It is not shown why the extremists or the terrorists attack the hotel. The planned structure is not detailed, not necessary. But to give the terrorist some flesh, there is nothing to show why they take to it, how they take to it. And at the end of the movie, when everybody is walking out of the hotel, minus those who die, there's a lull. Obviously, we are all schooled in the belief that terrorism has no space in modern society. We also live in times where historically, politically, we believe that terrorism is an absolute, non-negotiable. And therefore, is Hansler trying to build some kind of a sympathy for them? I don't know. If he is, it's very half-hearted. If he's trying to make the hero out of the protagonist, that too seems half-hearted. And all this, in the midst of an incident which has no backdrop, which has no socio-political relevance, is unrooted among the characters to stand out. I don't think Jahan's made uh, a great impact in the movie. Even his gait is like Papa Kuna. He'll have to do something more to stand on his own. But Aditya Raval is clear notice that the laws of genetics can't go wrong. Is actor tremendous. <coughs> the capacity to translate evil without being over the top is a class act, is a tightrope walk and for a debutant or a near day to be doing this, kudos to Nebras. I would almost see him as the greatest debutant that this year would see in cinema. The rest of the cast, hardly anything except that special mention shall be made of Juhin Babur. Very lively performance, her style, her class shows. The rest of the cast is nondescript. I would still recommend for us, for the simple reason that it is told without ado, it's told without too much of noise. It's an experience. If you like that kind of cinema, go for it. I would believe that in the future we see a little more of the other actors in the movie. All the youngsters like Sachin Lalwani, Harsh, <coughs> Jatin, Sarin, Aditya Raval, all of them. Hope to see a lot more of them in cinema. Thank you Abhinav and uh, Datu for taking this to the next level. Viewers, do watch this development. I've also spoken about Gandhi vs. Godse Ek Yudh elsewhere. Do watch both these movies. They're very different movies within the political milieu. Both very different. One very calm, but both are worth watching for in the context of better cinema in India. Thank you.